Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see today we're going to talk about capacitors. I have a bunch right here. Some are very cheap, others quite expensive. But uh, first of all I wanted to test a myth uh, according to which the paper and oil capacitors sound better. Um, I read on the internet they, that they tend to have a warmer sound compared to the polyester ones. So I just went ahead and bought a bunch of them. And we're ba basically going to uh, test the two different values for uh, the standard ones you can find on base, 47 and 100 nanofarads. And to do that, I'm going to use a spreadboard, which will be connected to my instrument on one jack and to my audio interface on the others. So I can use this just to pl plug in each capacitor easily without doing any soldering and unsoldering. Bear in mind that these capacitors have a tolerance, so sometimes the value is not exactly as declared, sometimes it's slightly higher and sometimes it's slightly lower. So I've me measured each one individually and I've put a caption on the video as long with the price so you know exactly what the value is. So just for the fun of it, I'm also going to use these circuit board capacitors just for fun and to hear how they sound. So for this test we'll be using my trusty Holoflake PJ base. I'll just be using the neck pickup because I feel uh, you can hear the difference better with the, ca with the different capacitors. And uh, if you've seen my other videos, you know this has a TBX tone control. So this basically acts like a one mega ohm pot. And this is a 500k volume pot, so we're getting the most uh, signal possible from the bass. So that was quite an interesting test, I think. I can't honestly say I've heard any real differences uh, between capacitors of the same value. Obviously you can uh, with different values, but if you hear some differences with the 47 nanofarad, for instance, I think it's more due to the fact that um, some capacitors had a higher value and others had a lower value. So I think that makes a bigger difference than the actual material of the capacitor. 
So it definitely was an interesting comparison nonetheless. If you have any experience with these capacitors, please leave a comment and let me know your experience or if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and I'll see you next time guys.